Good evening, I'm Adrian Gobriel. Welcome to City News. The man accused of killing a family because of their Islamic faith has had terrorism added to each first degree and attempted murder charge. Uh, coming today at a virtual court hearing here in London, Ontario, and it's being called a precedent setting development. Tina Han and Shaquille Rashid came to lay flowers on the steps of the London Muslim Mosque just as the upgraded charges became public. It should be shown that somebody who looks like him, who's the majority population here in Canada, cannot go out and kill four people of color and have it be called something that's not terrorism. Because that strikes fear in the people of that community's hearts. I'm part of the Muslim community. I do like fully believe that, you know, it helps make us feel that justice will be served. The accused, Nathaniel Veltman, stood silently and showed no emotion as he appeared via video from the Elgin Middlesex Detention Center wearing orange prison-issued clothing. With his hands clasped in front of him, Veltman listened quietly as a federal prosecutor told the court that in addition to the allegation that the murders were planned and deliberate, the Crown now believes the deaths, including the attempted murder of the lone survivor, constitute terrorism activity. One counter-terrorism expert who worked undercover for the RCMP believes this is an important step towards correcting a double standard of what a terrorist looks like in Canada. It is in terms of uh, a white guy charged with terrorism. That's really what it comes down to. I mean, the, beast, the attack in the Quebec mosque uh, it was one of the worst uh, attacks that we've had in Canada uh, by the far right, anti-Muslim hatred. Uh, and so, but there was no terrorism charges and everyone wanted terrorism charges because we wanted to hear that, yes, this is terrorism. While it sends a powerful signal, one defense lawyer notes that the upgraded charge won't result in a harsher penalty if the 20-year-old in the London case is convicted. It is more of a message or a symbolic act by uh, the federal government because it is uh, a homicide and because it's a first degree, the effect of uh, punishment or sentence is really one and the same. But having said that, these elements uh, uh, the Crown will have to prove, and, and maybe that serves a greater social purpose. The memorial grows by the day in London following the deaths of 46-year-old Salman Afsal, his wife, 44-year-old Mediha Salman, their 15-year-old daughter, Yumna Afsal, and her 74-year-old grandmother, Talat Afsal. Nine-year-old Fayez Afsal is still recovering in hospital. The fact terrorism charges are now being pursued has faith leaders feeling hopeful for a community that remains scared and shaken. It is an egregious act that, that any individual um, can commit, and it needs to be called uh, for what it is when it is committed as such. Feldman's next court appearance is scheduled for June 21st. In London, Ontario, I'm Adrian Gobriel for City News.